Hi. Hello, everyone. Oh, hopefully the it's coming through. Okay. Uh, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz. I will give a formal introduction in a moment. I'm just going to make sure that I have the chat set up uh, on my computer and I want to pause uh, it actually running on my computer. So that way it doesn't take up any like upload speed. Um, and hopefully, okay, so I've officially paused that. But hello, hello, everyone. This day is finally here. I am so, so excited uh, to finally talk about this project with all of you. Yeek! And all right, now I said that I wasn't checking, but I'm, it is jerky. I wasn't checking, but I'm, it is jerky. Yeek! And all right, now I said that I wasn't checking. Uh, to finally talk about this project with all of Okay, so I don't know why it seems... Huh. All right, well, I have that paused, but hopefully it's going through okay. Uh, it's looking like it's skipping, which is surprising me a little bit. Um, let me just make sure... Uh, okay, I just closed other things on my phone that I may have left open, so hopefully... Uh, it's going to go a little bit smoother, but it sounds like the audio is at least smooth. So let me just, I'm going to do one more check. Uh, oh, I need to turn the volume on so I can hear. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't mute it, that's why. Oh, I didn't mute it, that's why. Oh, it's actually... Oh, it's actually... <laughs> There's not a lot of delay. There's not a lot of delay. All right, it's fine. All right, it's fine. All right, and now we're going to stop that that loop. <laughs> but all right, everyone. Hi, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and today I am finally going to unbox the first month of Dive Into Dying, a new Learn to Die subscription from Knit Crate. Now, I am a Knit Crate uh, affiliate, which means I earn commission on sales made through my links. Uh, I do have a coupon code, Chemnitz20, uh, so new Knit Crate customers can save 20% off the first month of the subscription. And I am actually the instructor for this course, so I was uh, additionally compensated for uh, making content for the videos that are up publicly on the Dyer Supplier YouTube channel. Now, I've mentioned this project a few times, but I'm happy to finally go into uh, some more details about it and answer some questions. And I have to pause that because I can see myself out of the corner of my eye. All right, first, before we open it, let's first open up this bag. Um, they sent it to me sealed in a bag, and so um, I think that it should be fresh, but I don't... Ooh. Oh, cool. It's in a dyer supplier box. I've never seen one like this before. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Because of the size and shape, I assumed that it was going to be a knit crate box. But it's a dyer supplier by knit crate box, which makes sense because dyer supplier is um, the company, the sister company of Knit Crate, and they make the bear yarn. Um, and sell bear yarn, and so that is awesome. Um, oh, I'm really excited. Uh, I wonder what my uh, kids will think since it's a different color box. They use these as blocks. Um, so I am very, very excited. Right, but before we open this up, what is Dive Into Dying? Dive Into Dying is a three-month subscription um, through Knit Crate that will help you get started on your own yarn dyeing journey using commercial acid dyes, specifically Jacquard. This course is a three month course. It is $39.99 a month, which includes shipping even internationally. Uh, and it each month we'll have 200 grams of a bare yarn, three half ounce jars of Jacquard acid dyes, and then some other items that I will go through um, as we uh, move forward. 
But the best part is that the whole course is accompanied by 15 videos filmed by yours truly that are available publicly on the Dyer Supplier YouTube channel. And so in these videos, I take you through dedicated dye tools and equipment, what kind of things are helpful to have on hand, and some of my favorites. Uh, I go through safety procedures and, you know, things like you need to make sure that you get a respirator mask and you should wear gloves and safety glasses while dealing with dye powder. Uh, I also go through making acid dye stock solutions. Um, and so those are all to sort of get you set up before you even get into the first lesson, which is creating a semi-solid skein of yarn. Uh, and so I will, I guess I'll go through more details about the contents after we have unboxed this. Um, but in addition to the videos, there is gonna be a pamphlet in here, which I've not seen in person, and they sort of took my video and turned it into a written instruction booklet, uh, which I am so excited to see. So, so excited to see. Um, and, okay, we're gonna open this. And I'm gonna give you all the first look. Ooh, tissue paper. <laughs> And I can see the acid dyes in there. All right, so we've got um, our Knit Crate tissue paper. And here we go at the first look into dyeing, into dyeing. Ah! <laughs> I am so excited. Okay, so uh, as you can see, we have 200 grams of yarn. And I believe for the first lesson, this should be 100% um, superwash merino. And I will check further uh, in here in a moment. Um, the first box, uh, it should have information about the yarn in the uh, booklet itself. Um, I think that this might be DK. The, the first box will always have 100% superwash merino and it could be a few different weights. The second box will always have a sock yarn, so like a superwash wool nylon sock yarn, and then the third box will have some kind of sparkle yarn. Um, but Yay! So we've got the bear yarn. We've got, in a little baggie, there are two gloves. Um, I'll open this up in a second. We have a little bit of, okay, it's unlabeled, uh, so maybe I'll reach out and say that they should label it, but a little bit of citric acid powder. Um, I actually use white vinegar in my tutorials. I might use citric acid powder for speckling in one of them um, later later on, but um, I think it's handy for people to have. There are also two zip ties in the box. Uh, you know that I love uh, using removable nylon zip ties as an extra tie, but if you don't have removable ones, um, these uh, will work fine. Um, and then finally, well, finally is that booklet, which I'll get to in a moment. But the first box comes with our primary colors. And these are three jacquard acid dye colors that I uh, selected uh, out of the, the ones that they offer as primaries. So jacquard fire red, which is a beautiful red. I really, really like it. Uh, bright yellow, which is my preferred yellow through jacquard. Sun yellow is a little harder to work with in stock solution. I think that bright yellow might I think it might clump a little bit as you start to mix it, but once you, with a lot of stirring, it does dissolve completely and it behaves very nicely it, once you get it into the stock solution. And then finally, Brilliant Blue. Uh, and so there are, will be nine different colors total over the three months. Um, and so uh, it's a lot of fun, but I really pushed, the colors I really pushed for are the first three and then the three that are in the third box. Um, so, uh, but let's, uh, before I guess I talk about the other colors, let's take a look at this booklet. <laughs> Dive into dying. Oh my gosh. And look. It's me! <laughs> it's me! Okay, so these booklets take you through. Um, it's, it's a little magazine and it'll take you through, you know, the contents in the box. There's even some information about dye safety that refers you back to the video that I filmed. Um, it talks about the materials and the tools you'll need. And then they even will walk you through the formulas. 
Uh, so the formulas for making dye stock and calculating depth of shade. And I really like that they color coded the numbers in here as they talk through and they're consistent with that, I think, through the different booklets. And then um, what is pretty amazing is they took my videos and screen and like screenshots from my videos uh, and incorporated that into the written instructions. So not only are there written instructions, um, but you can see like my hands and it really goes along with the video. So that way you can either go back and rewatch that portion of the video again to watch me demonstrate it, but you also have it written down if you don't want to rewatch the video as you are going through it. And um, there's some tips and oh, this is so awesome. And then there's also uh, each month does have some downloadable exercises. I filmed a video on the color triangle exercise, um, which I used these three primary colors that come in the first box to do it. Uh, and so in the playlist that I'm sharing of all these videos that I will put up on my channel, I've inserted some other bonus videos I'm filming on my channel to go along with the whole course. Um, yeah, so I think that it's a lot of fun. And these, what they, I have to say, they blew me away when they sent me this booklet because I knew there would be some written instructions included, but I thought it would be, you know, just like a page with some step-by-step -step instructions. I didn't expect something that is so thorough and really, really beginner friendly. And so I am really, really excited to see this and have this in my library. And I'm like, this is the yarn I dyed. And this is other yarn that I dyed. Like, this is really, really cool for me. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a little bit squeaky. I am really, really excited. All right, I'm gonna take a moment and check through your comments. Hello, yes, um, oh, awesome. Um, yes, so I'm gonna drop a link to it. This is my affiliate link I am dropping into the chat. Another amazing thing about this is it is, oh wait, I'll, I'll wait so you can see my face and not just my back. Um, so another amazing thing about Dive Into Dying is that it is an evergreen subscription, which means you could sign up today in August 2020, or you could sign up in March 2021. So if you, it's something you can't afford right now or you want to put on your holiday wish list, uh, that is something that you can do. And just like Knit Crate's other subscriptions, you can cancel any time. I believe that uh, when you sign up, they will charge you that day. So what's today? The 28th. So if you sign up today, you'll be charged today for box one. But then I suppose you'll be charged again on September 1st for box two. Uh, and then that'll ship out then. I haven't seen box two in person yet, but I will pop on for a live stream to share that with all of you. And I have, you know, reviewed the, like a digital version of the booklet and things like that. Uh, so what was I going to say? The, um, yes, so you can, so if you want to cancel the next month, I think you need to do that before the first of the month. And I believe that if you cancel and then resubscribe later on, that it'll start you at lesson two. Um, but I would reach out directly to Knit Crate customer service to double check that if you want to sort of pause and then restart. Um, uh, who came up with the name? Uh, Knit Crate did. Uh, so my, um, my contribution to the project is that I had creative control over the videos. Uh, when we were working on this, they uh, gave me some themes and requested like, you know, they, they wanted the three main lessons to be semi-solid, then variegated, then uh, speckles. And then there were a bunch of bonus ones that they wanted uh, me to create as well. And then I suggested, you know, a dedicated video for dye stocks. Um, so uh, I, you know, with that, I went through and like tried to show a variety of techniques using a variety of countertop versus immersion type techniques using a variety of equipment so that way people can try to adapt uh, the entirety to what they might have on hand. Um, so let me see. Can you pay for it all in one go? No, I don't believe so. I think that uh, the only way to sign up is in the subscription model. So you'll get for the whole course, there will be three charges of $39.99. Uh, 
All right, and so let's talk about the colors that are gonna be included in the course. So um, the first three, we've got uh, Brilliant Blue, Fire Red, and then Bright, yes, Bright Yellow from Jacquard. And these are half ounce jars, which I think is about 14 grams. So there's enough here to dye a lot of yarn. Um, in, I can't remember if I did for the first video, if this was a 1% depth of shade. If it was 1%, it was one gram of dye per 100 grams of yarn. If it was, oh, I guess I can check. It was either one or 2%, I don't remember. Um, because I was like looking, cause right here I have a 1% for sure. Uh, so the total amount of dye will last you a long time. Oh, before I go through the rest of the colors, um, what is not included in the course? So you will need to get dedicated dye tools and equipment. Uh, I use a stainless steel multi-pot for a lot of my projects. I really love that. I also use a stainless steel, like full size catering steam pan. I have a blog post linked down in the video description that goes through all my favorite dyeing tools and equipment that I like to use. You also will need to get some kind of respirator or dust mask, safety glasses, and although the kit comes with like one pair of gloves, which uh, I'm gonna open up, they may be latex, I'm not sure though. Um, I think that these are probably latex gloves. Um, so they do come with one pair of gloves and you can use them multiple times, but you might want some additional gloves uh, to have on hand. But the respirator mask, you need something that ha will filter out particles uh, for dyeing yarn with acid dye powder. This is the recommendation of the manufacturers and the recommendations of me. Now, the deluxe rubber respirator with P100 filters that I wear and I show pictures of me and all the time, that mask is currently sold out from Dharma Trading Company, but I do have a recent blog post where I crowdsourced recommendations for other masks that indie dyers use. And so I do have a link to that in the video description um, to the blog post I did. And there are some places where you can still buy respirator masks. But if you can't get an appropriate mask, I recommend waiting to start these projects until you can, because you don't want to risk inhaling any dye particles. Uh, and so it really is to protect you in case of like a spill and things like that. So that safety is something I consider really, really important. Um, so yes, so masks can be, due to the pandemic, masks can be a lot harder to get. But I did see that um, I found one source that I have not purchased from personally, but my husband, I forget the name of the company, my husband has purchased from them for work things. And so there are some sources out there where you can get like 3M respirators and some other brands. Um, but yay, yay for the subscribing and the discount code. So again, um, I do have a discount code. If you're a new Knit Crate customer, you can use the code chemnitz 20 uh, for 20% off the first month. Um, let's see, are the YouTube tutorials public? Yes, this was something that was very, very important to me and uh, was a big reason why I signed on for this project in that the videos are available for free for everyone. They're actually now on the Dyer Supplier YouTube channel, but I will also be sharing a playlist probably after the stream is done on my YouTube channel. So that way uh, it's easy to find the videos, but they will be available for everyone. So you can watch them to get a sense if it is for you and then decide to either sign up for the course or you can go directly to dyer supplier and buy bare yarn and they sell uh jacquard acid dyes as, there as well um so it's sort of like a nice place to get the yarn and the dye that you need uh so that is also uh just a nice option um let's see you missed the first part. No. Oh, no. I'm, I'm going through all the colors and stuff. Um, so that there, there is no choice on the colors or the yarn. And I don't think that you can skip. Like, if you sign up and then cancel, you can start at the month that you had not yet received, I believe. But you can't, like, skip a month um, otherwise. Okay, so the first month is Brilliant Blue fire red and bright yellow for your primary colors. 
and the OK Go song primary colors is going through my head right now. Month two has three colors that are really good for mixing. Uh, Hannah, who used to work at Knit Crate, really, really liked these colors and really recommended them. And I also enjoy them. Uh, so Gunmetal, which is more of almost, it's a deep blue navy type color. There is Chestnut, which is a deep red that is sort of approaching brown a little bit. And then Aztec Gold, which is a very mustardy color. Um, the hue of it on its own is not necessarily my favorite color in the world, but it is beautiful for mixing to get more muted greens and as a nice alternative to that bright yellow when you don't want something to feel as bright uh, when you're mixing. And I actually use that Aztec Gold a lot um, for some of the mixing for the second video. Um, and I'll show all the yarn in a moment. And then the third month, and I am stuck, the third month contains jet black, uh, hot, Yes, it's hot fuchsia and turquoise because it was really important to me to not only have a black in there because for me it was one of the first colors I bought because with food coloring you can't really get a black so jacquard jet black um, and then I wanted there to be a bright pink and a bright blue also to help with color mixing because I think that if I were to recommend six colors for you to start with in your collection of acid dyes. It would be a red, a yellow, a blue, a turquoise, a pink, and black. Those are the six colors that are really, really important to me. Um, and so, yeah, I, I think, and those are a lot of colors that when it comes to mixing that I reach for the most, because really it gives you the, like the red, blue, yellow that you can mix, but then also the like cyan, magenta, yellow, for other mixing. And so I did the triangle exercise already with the red, yellow, and blue. Um, and that video I will have in my uh, Dive Into Dying playlist. Uh, I plan to do this again using the uh, magenta, or the fuchsia, the hot fuchsia, turquoise, and uh, same bright yellow. But I plan to do this again to then show like this range of colors that you can get with mixing the primaries that are in this course. Um, oh, yay, yay, thank you, everyone. Um, yes, okay, and so as for the yarn, so I think that this one was packed specially for me, so I believe that, um, oh, did I just notice it doesn't say gray yarn worsted weight? Does it not say the fiber content? on my side. I just noticed. I will reach out about that. But these should be um, two skeins of, this is the um, Merino Superwash Merino Worsted Yarn from Dyer Supplier. It's 100% Superwash Merino. I believe though that what is going to be in the kit um, at the beginning is the DK weight and there should be a slip of paper in the box with the full details of the yarn. But actually I need, should make a note to myself to ask about that. Ask. No. Uh, because I am now realizing, and then I, I proof this and it says, you know, two skeins worsted weight, but it doesn't, uh, I'm going to be honest with all of you, but it's definitely going to be Superwash Merino. Um, absolutely. And I am checking because it should say, yes. Okay. So the first we'll have two 100 gram skeins of Superwash Merino. Um, and it'll either be worsted DK or sport weight. The techniques should work the same on all of them. The second uh, box, so month two, level two, I'm not entirely sure what wood's being called, uh, that is going to contain a sock yarn. So I believe that I dyed 
uh, 200 grams of Dyer Suppliers 80-20 sock yarn, which is 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon. Um, but there might be an equivalent base, so maybe 75-25 or something similar, but it should be a superwash wool nylon yarn for box two. Then box three has one of my favorite bases and one of the most unique bases that Dyer Supplier has. Um, they have some like really unique base, bases, but the silvery sock yarn is one that I absolutely love. It is jam packed with Stellina um, and it is superwash merino nylon. I think it is 60% superwash merino. No, maybe it's 70% superwash merino, 10% nylon, 20% Stellina. I'd have to double check that. Um, but I don't know if it'll show because the light might be too diffused, but it is so sparkly that it almost has a gray cast. So this compared to the worsted weight superwash merino, you can see that the silvery sock is a lot grayer, but they may substitute um, their sparkle sock, which has a little bit less Stellina in it, uh, but it will be a sparkle base for the third box. And then I will talk about some speckling on that. So I'll go through, um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them. Oh, Amy is in the chat. Hi, Amy. Um, it should, yeah, Amy, it doesn't, uh, <laughs> I just realized, so, cause I think that I got this without the like insert note, but I just realized that on, um, on here, it didn't have the, uh, the fiber content. Uh, which I just noticed. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, all right. Um, so what was I going to say? All right, the yarn. So in the first one, uh, and they'll make sure that the fiber content is included. Thank you, Amy. Uh, the first one I go through making a semi-solid yarn. In each of these um, three main videos, I dye 200 grams of yarn. And so along the way, I give tips and tricks. And these are very standard Chemnitz videos, except they're a little more edited. So they're a little bit shorter, a little less of my rambling. <laughs> because I wanted to try to make it really clear and concise and beginner friendly. And I really took care if like I made a mistake, like in the first one, when I was cake dyeing, the center popped out <laughs> of the yarn cake. So I refilmed it, uh, which is not something that I typically do. I typically try to share my mistakes, but for something where we're directing beginners being like, Hey, here's a great place to start. I wanted to make sure that it would be easy to follow and feel accessible and not scary. Um, so in the first one, we did a kettle dyed semi solid yarn. Um, but I did it in blue, you don't have to do it in blue, you'll have the three primary colors, and you could mix them. So I would say that in my um, uh, so on my channel, I had a the triangle exercise color mixing video. And from that, I actually mixed uh, some colors to do a um, an additional semi-solid tips and tricks video on my channel. Uh, and so I picked these uh, four colors based on the colors that I did from the color mixing exercise that sort of informed me on how I might want to mix colors for moving forward. Uh, and so it is really fun. Um, is there an option for more bare yarn to be added on? No, I don't believe that there is that option with the course that is through Knit Crate, um, but uh, you can go to Dyer Supplier directly uh, to get more of the yarn bases that are included in the kits. I never ramble. I ramble all the time. <laughs> oh man, thank you. Um, yeah, and so, uh, right, so the first lesson, semi-solid, just sort of to get you started, put things in the pot and get a good coverage on your yarn and some tips to get good coverage. In the second video, um, I took uh, inspiration from, and I want to get this right, I think it was the June 2019 mood board. Um, yes, the theme for the June 2019 knit crate was calico. Um, and so I took that mood board, which I included in the video as inspiration to create this colorway. 
And I did this colorway hand painted on the countertop followed by steaming in a steamer basket. Because I'm trying, again, in the whole course, I wanted to try to mix up the containers and the techniques and the heat sources. So that way, if you don't have all the options that I'm presenting, then you know, you can look and see the different variations so how you can make it work. And in those videos, I go through multiple ways you can apply the, the dye to the yarn. We'll look at uh, pouring directly, using squeeze bottles, using foam brushes. Uh, maybe I even use like a turkey baster. Uh, lots of different options there. And so I dyed 200 yarn, 200 grams of this colorway. And the one I did in the video, this is the 80-20 sock yarn. Uh, yeah, inspired by uh, the calico theme. And so in kit two, you will get um, some uh, wooden stirs for mixing colors if you've made stock solutions to, to help you stir them up to mix. Uh, it also contains uh, two squeeze bottles. I don't know about the size. I haven't seen them yet, but uh, I'm excited to see them uh, for the next unboxing. And then uh, there will also be another booklet with step-by-step -step instructions that goes along with the video. So a little sneak peek there and then the video. Uh, so you have both a written tutorial and a video uh, featuring me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so that is in box two. So box three, as I said, will feature a sparkle base. And the three colors there are this hot pink. So it is hot fuchsia, turquoise, and jet black. All of the colors and, and, and items are listed directly on the Knit Crate page. So um, it's not a surprise uh, what you are getting. Um, and I'm going to pop the link into the chat again. Uh, Oh, thank you. Thank you, Gretchen. Uh, so the third one is going to feature speckles, which I do low immersion uh, in my catering steam pan. And I try to take you through and demonstrate, I believe I demonstrate that the jet block does break, but you can still get some really, really pretty color. And we did speckling with the dye powder just straight out of the jars or I probably aliquoted it into a cup. But we, we use the, the dye powder directly to speckle. And one reason for that is that when you have a sparkle base, uh, you typically want to use vinegar and not citric acid. And that is because if you have conditions that are too acidic, uh, you could dull the sparkle on your Stellina. And so that's why I chose to just go with the straight powder. But there is another video on the channel uh, Children, uh, there is another video on Dyer Supplier's channel where I do demonstrate, uh, and these are very subtle, so it might be hard to see. Uh, I do demonstrate doing some citric acid speckles to get really sharp, fine speckles on a more variegated base. Uh, so I also show that in a separate video. But then we speckle with um, all these colors and I sort of layered it uh, so that we had uh, pink, then pink and black, and then the pink, black, and blue. And pardon me, because my house is now beeping. <laughs> it's okay, Andy. Apologies, everyone. Hello, hello. Yeah, so this this was a was a really really fun one to create. Um, I don't think in the series I have speckles on the countertop, but I'm thinking of trying to film soon a video where I go through a bunch of different sort of like a hey here's a few different ways you can speckle yarn with acid dye powder, and then I would add that to my dive into dyeing playlist. I think that that would be like a nice complement to the one that I made for the Dyer Supplier YouTube channel. Um, would you be able to speckle yarn on the countertop? Yes, yes. So you could definitely do it on the countertop. Um, I have videos like that on my main channel. Uh, my main channel, I only have one YouTube channel. Actually, that's not true. But 
I have like an old personal one that has nothing to do with Chemnitz. Um, I only have one YouTube channel. Um, and so there isn't a countertop speckling on the videos I made for Dyer Supplier and Knit Crate, uh, but I do have videos. There's sort of a recent one where I was using uh, fluorescent acid dyes. Um, I, I have a lot of, spe I have a whole playlist of speckling videos. And so I definitely have a lot of countertop speckling uh, videos that, uh, you can see. Now, the one other thing is I typically try to reply to YouTube con comments um, as much as I can. I won't get notifications about questions and comments on uh, the Dyer Supplier videos. I will occasionally try to go and check, but uh, if you have a question for me, uh, try to, yeah, I might not see it over there. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, Hi, I just wanted to thank you. I died for the first time this past weekend and I'm now saving avocado skins to try later. Yay! Oh, thank you. Oh, it's my pleasure. I mean, I think one of my mission statements is to make playing with color and yarn really, really accessible and to make it seem unintimidating. That is my personal goal. And so, yeah, when you guys start giving it a shot because of my videos, it makes me really, really happy. And my, my children are being a little wild. So apologies for that background noise. Um, yeah, and so those are really the three main boxes. Um, and then, as I mentioned, there are 15 videos total. So the three videos that go along with each box, and then there's three introductory videos. So there are six videos that are sort of that core introduction. And then we take those lessons and go a little bit further. So I already mentioned that we had a variegated and speckles one. This was also done low immersion in a pan. I believe I used, I think I used Kelly Green Chartreuse. I don't remember if I used bright yellow or sun yellow. And um, and then, oof, I don't remember. Was it spruce maybe? Maybe it was emerald or spruce. I used a darker green for those light, light speckles on here. And so this was also done low immersion in a steam pan. But you could do something very, very similar on a countertop followed by steaming. Maybe not the variegated base, which I think I did the powders and then sort of spread it out. Um, but it is uh, really, really nice. Um, I did one of my favorite more... Is this the one? No, that one's not the one. So this, I did a watercolor um, type colorway. That's sort of what I call it when I layer with a uh, liquid dye. I believe this was also done in a steam pan, but you could do it in a smaller pot. Um, I layered the color sort of in lines, moved it, layered the color more and more. I believe that this is the um, their MCN, their Superwash Merino Nylon Cashmere Blend um, for this beautiful, soft, subtle colorway. Um, can you use the microwave? So I personally don't like to use my microwave for commercial dyes. Uh, because my microwave is a built-in, I will use it for food-based projects. But personally, I would want to get a dedicated microwave to use with dye. Um, so there's nothing prohibiting you or no safety reason why you couldn't microwave the the dyes. I think that a lot of like acid dye companies even include microwave based instructions sometimes. But personally, and just probably coming from my lab history, I the microwave, it's the food microwave. And since I can't, it's built in, I can't easily clean it. I don't use it with acid dyes. So instead, what I use is I have a multi pot with a steamer basket insert, and I use that instead. Um, so that's my but that's my personal choice. I do have there are two new Kool-Aid dyeing videos um, as part of this dive into dyeing playlist. And one of them does feature dyeing yarn um, in like a large glass container in the microwave, but using Kool-Aid versus acid dyes. And I also had a Kool-Aid video in my crock pot. Um, so that's another one I had there. <laughs> well, they're supposed to be, so there's a comment that the kids aren't too loud. They're supposed to be resting right now. So on normal days, even if I weren't streaming, I would say, hey, children, please go to your rest spots and shut the doors. 
wonder if they heard me. <laughs> so that would be normal. It's sort of like the break. Uh, and then they take this time to read. And that is really, really nice and fun. Um, okay, so what other videos? Aha, cake dyeing. So this is the one I did twice. Uh, we created this beautiful gradient that has these reverse speckles. Uh, this is the, it is a hundred percent worsted weight superwash merino. Uh, and I wound it into a center pole yarn cake and kettle dyed it to create this gradient. And there is a video on that. But if you want a more planned gradient that has a little bit of dog hair on it, the videos come dog hair free. Um, <laughs> if you want to create more of a gradient, um, in another video, I talked about doing a two color gradient and we, I mixed two colors together. Um, I believe that I probably used gunmetal and I don't know if I used a purple or if I mixed a purple, I don't remember. Um, the details will all be in the video so you could create the exact colorway, but I sort of divided the skein into five connected mini skeins to create this gradient. Um, thank you. And then when it comes to self striping, I did a colorway that is this sort of like straw, uh, a straw yellow brown and a burgundy color for a two color self striping yarn. And this is actually the first time that I created a really long skein using a warping board. But I believe I will give some other recommendations on how you can make really, really long skeins. Again, I tried to vary up the equipment, but the warping board I used, I actually made myself and I talk about that in this video. Um, and so, yeah. This is a, I don't have the swatch anymore because I unraveled it, but there is a swatch in this video. <laughs> uh, let's see, what other techniques did we do? Um, ah, yes, there is some solar dyeing in a mason jar. I believe that this is the final colorway here. I did it, I thought it'd be fun to do it on the sparkle base. Um, and then I also did some ice dyeing uh, with acid dyes outside and created this really, really pretty colorway. So yeah, there are a lot of videos. So there's 15 videos on the Dyer Supplier YouTube channel now that I made. And of those, let's see, three of them are background. So I guess 12 different colorways I walk you through. But think of this like your art box. These nine dye colors are your crayons and you can blend them and mix them together in any way you want. And these videos and these techniques are also tools in your box. So you are more than welcome to try to create the exact same colorways I demonstrated in these videos, but you can also take it and adapt it and shift it into creating the yarn that you want for your projects and your perfect colorway. And so that's what my goal is to help all of you achieve, hopefully. <laughs> Um, I did say ice dyeing. Um, so yes, this is, um, the self striping yarn is sort of like a straw, yellow, straw, yellow tan, and then more of like a crimson, uh, red. And yes, there was ice dyeing. So I covered the yarn with ice cubes and then sprinkled the dye on top. Uh, yeah. So a lot, uh, I tried to like not have everything be blue and purple and green, <laughs> which are some colors I reach for a lot, <laughs> but I still reached for those colors a lot. So as I mentioned, um, Dyer Supplier has all 40 card acid dyes on their website. Some of them might be out of stock right now, but I think if there were going to be any colors I would add beyond these nine, then maybe next I would go for silver gray. Uh, I might try brown, which gives good brown speckles. And I might try, uh, I don't think I've used their navy blue a lot, but navy blue might be another one that I would be inclined to, uh, even although you could mix the gunmetal to get something that feels more navy. So those are some that I might be inclined to add uh, sooner. Um, and then, you know, Violet was one of the first ones I bought, but that's because it's me. Uh, <laughs> I actually like 
And the violet color is fairly blue. I like to add a little bit of pink to it to make it more of a purple. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm trying to think if there is anything else. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Um, yeah, so the, cit the citric acid in here, and I'm not sure how much it is. I would say it looks to me there's at least two tablespoons, maybe three, which is a lot. So citric acid powder is, I think it's 12 times as potent as vinegar. So like if you're going to use 12 tablespoons of vinegar, which you wouldn't ever need that much, you'd only need one tablespoon of citric acid. This is enough for a lot of projects. Um, but in my videos, I do use vinegar mostly. Um, have you, I've not tried to break any rip dyes intentionally. I don't believe I have speckled with some of their powders, but that is it. And where are I lost? Oh, the gloves are in here. But anyway, this is the first look. I am really excited. <laughs> oh man. All right. And I'm thinking like, I'll pose for a picture like, <laughs> um, yep, this is, uh, probably the thumbnail will like, after I'll change the thumbnail and it'll probably be something like this. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm really excited to finally have this in my hands. Oh, and I just noticed the you did it on the back. That is so, so cute. So cute. Um, but again, if you're just tuning in, like the step-by-step -step instructions include pictures from the video and it is so cool um thank you did anyone manage to register yet i believe some people have let me drop the link in again so i do have an affiliate link um which i just dropped into chat and new knit crate customers can save 20 percent off the first month of this subscription uh using the coupon code chemnitz20 which i just popped into the chat i think um, yeah, and so the subscription is $39.99 a month, and as, as we mentioned, and now I can sort of do it like this. So each box comes with, um, the booklet that goes along with the video, which is awesome, if I do say so. So Knit Crate wrote the booklets, um, following my videos, and so that was, uh, really fun. So I, um, I didn't, I didn't write the booklets myself, but they, I, I did the, it's my, uh, you, I think you can feel me in there. <laughs> um, each box comes with three half ounce jars of Jacquard acid dyes, which is enough to dye dozens of skeins of yarn. Um, each box comes with 200 grams of yarn. I believe that they are all super washed um, for, in all three boxes, but it's three different yarn bases so you can play around. And um, I can chat about like which techniques might work best on different types of bases. Uh, they all come with um, a pair of gloves, um, a pair of, I believe, latex gloves, but I will double check. Um, they come with some non-reusable, but they do each come with two zip ties, um, which are handy for just keeping, preventing tangles. Um, and then the first box comes with some citric acid. Uh, the other boxes come with some wooden stirs, and the second box has some squeeze bubbles in it. Um, Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, this is the, uh, the kit. <laughs> it's here. Um, and so yeah, this was like my big project that I was working on last summer. And actually, maybe I can, there you go, put it so that way it's a little in view. Uh, and I don't know if you guys remember when Diary Supplier gave me all 40 Jacquard Acid Dye colors to play with for the development. And I came on and I had a live stream where we swatched all of them on some different colorways. I even have a yarn that I kept. When I opened all the containers, I put the lids on a skein of yarn. Um, so I have a skein of yarn that has 40 different colors on it and these like random like speckles. It's one of the first yarn mops I ever did like that. Uh, and so that I kept. I have that and I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but that's a very special yarn. Um, and so, yeah, when I was doing that, that's what I, I was working on developing these videos and filming these videos behind the scenes. And so uh, not sharing spoilers and it was hard to not like share too much about it <laughs> as, as my children run around. Um, 
No, so you don't have to, okay, so there's a question. Just to clarify, you have to be a Knit Crate member. You do not already need to be a Knit Crate member to subscribe to this course. Uh, this could be your first Knit Crate purchase ever, and that is fine. Um, I think the, the only thing is that to use the coupon code chemnitz20 to get 20% off that first month. Um, that is a coupon code that's only available to new customers. And that's a coupon code you could use on Knit Crate membership, on Sock Crate, or Dive Into Dying. I honestly don't know what happens if you try to sign up for multiple subscriptions at once and use the coupon code. I don't know if it works on multiple like that, but uh, if you have been a Knit Crate subscriber currently or in the past, then you can't use the coupon code. Um, I don't think that the system would let you. So that's the only thing. You do not need to be a Knit Crate subscriber um, to join Dive Into Dying. Um, but you do have to, to get the box, you have to subscribe <laughs> to it. And there are some di special digital downloads like the, the uh, triangle, oh, this one on, the triangle exercise I did in a recent episode of Dive Pot Weekly. That is something that you get that a sheet of paper, you can download that um, as a member. And excuse me one minute. Hey, children. Hi. Mommy's doing a live stream. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, uh, yes, so the the cost right i i should clarify the 39.99 cost is in us dollars so in canada it would be uh more expensive in your own currency but the price should include the cost of shipping um what i don't know if you're an international customer is about uh duty and import fees uh i i'm not aware um how that works with net, uh, net crate subscriptions and so if you have a question about that uh so I know some companies can prepay for it, but I have no idea if NetCrate does or if you're responsible um, as the customer for the import fees and taxes from your own country. Um, so I can't um, I can't speak to that. Is it possible to dye yarn at home like Malabrigo? Uh, you mean, are you asking if you can dye like the a bare off-white skein of Malabrigo? Because yes. Um, can you dye a colorway like one of theirs? Um, I mean, their colorways are exquisite. So whenever I dye something that gets compared to them, I am very, very flattered. Uh, so yes. <laughs> um, no, I know that Knit Crate sends, um, that international shipping is included, but I know that, uh, from my sister-in-law in the UK, occasionally if she receives an international pass package, then she has to pay taxes before they'll actually give her the package. Um, but that has to do with your home country versus the shipper mostly. So, um, yeah. So what, excuse me, I need to go, uh, yes, reprimand. Hey, boys. Mommy is in a live stream right now, honey. Sorry about that. Uh, realities, you think you're sold? Oh, awesome. Um, yeah, so for, I was gonna say that as a dyer, uh, typically you don't ever really want to go and try to copy someone else's colorway. Now I'm an exception because as an instructor um, on you know my channel or with Dyer Supplier, I'm inviting you to replicate the colorways that I am dying. I'm inviting you to copy. But in general, uh, since it is sort of an art form, you shouldn't go to like another dyer's shop, look at their yarn and say like, oh, I want to go and dye that for myself. How can I copy that? Um, so that's not something that, um, I, I don't re reverse engineer other people's colorways. Um, but I would say that a lot 
of uh, some random layering color techniques have a similar feel to some of those colorways. So um, I would say, where is it? I can't find it. It's buried. Oh, because it's right here in a different basket. Um, so I would say like a type of technique for sort of non-pooling short patches of random colors. A technique I like is this sort of layering technique where, um, where I add more and more colors on top of each other and I dye it, I just keep adding more and more color and building it up. And so you can end up with something really, really subtle and soft, but that ultimately won't pool um, because of the random way you're applying the colors in the pan. And so this is one of the videos that I have. Um, confirming for you, the gloves are vinyl, latex free and powder free. Awesome. Um, uh, hey, Amy, maybe we should add that to the, um, to the page. Uh, but I don't have a pen. I'm going to write that down so I can update my blog post. Um, gloves are vinyl. Yes. So correction, the gloves are not latex. They are vinyl latex free. Um, thank you, Amy. <laughs> um, have I ever done a pulling colorway? Uh, not I've never done a planned pooling colorway or project where I've taken advantage of it like that. Um, a colorway like this isn't necessarily, will pool, can pool in some kinds of ways because it is a repeating colorway, but because I did the colorway sort of in a random pattern and order, it's not necessarily going to pool. But a lot of colorways, like a dip dyed colorway that is sort of like a slow gradient from one end to the other, those can pool in many different ways. You can get spirals or sometimes micro striping. Uh, so uh, I've dyed colorways that do pool, but not, I've never done like the math and calculations to make a planned pooling type colorway. Um, Wait, the chart is missing the word red number 14. Which chart? Is it the, the triangle exercise? Uh, yes, I see that. I see that on the triangle exercise. Okay, I will make a note of that. Um, I did not notice that, uh, triangle chart missing color red. Thank you, everyone. I have a feeling that, um, there might be like, you know, it's like the more eyes that see things, you catch things. And so I have a feeling that, um, yeah, they're just, these are some minor typos, but thank you. <laughs> it's, oh, Claire, that's very sweet. Um, are there other courses like this one or is this the first? So that is a great lead in because Amy Yarnjury actually filmed um, some other tutorial based subscriptions. So there are um, two new stitch starters courses. Um, there's a learn to knit and a learn to crochet course that are also three month subscriptions. Uh, and Amy, who's in the chat, actually filmed the videos for that. So those are other two new, like short um, three month subscriptions that are evergreen. Um, again, meaning that you could sign up today, but you could also sign up next summer. Um, so these should always be available on Knit Crate's website. Um, until like, uh, I mean, always, you know, it, it, as long as they want, I suppose. Um, yeah, the, the boxes are really, really fun. Um, this is, oh, you're right. And I showed this at the beginning, but it's in a dye supplier box. I love it. As I drop dye and my, my little magazine that I love. <laughs> it is really, really, really cool to um, see like 
I don't know. I mean, like, it's it's really fun to see like my my nail polish in a little magazine. I don't know why that's one little detail that gets me, but I think that, that it's just one way that I know for sure and can really identify that it's my fingers. So. <laughs> oh, it's the way that I recognize it, but it is just so fun. And like, it'll take you through depths of shade and how to do all these calculations. And so it's just a really handy resource. Um, thank you. This was like a really, my children. Uh, this was a really, really fun project to work on, and I was really, really excited when they reached out to me and asked me to be a part of this. Uh, it was a huge honor to be, um, yeah, for them to think that my content is really good and to think that I would be a good person to, like, film these videos. Um, so the, the book is included in the Dive to Dying course, so that isn't um, available separately but I will pop that link for the whole series in here. Um, and so, yeah, and this is sort of the like, the, the zoomed out version of what you get each month. Uh, yeah, so the booklet isn't available um, separately, um, but the videos are available to everyone. And I do have a playlist. Uh, let me drop, I put the playlist link in the video description, but I also um, ha I just dropped the playlist into the chat. Uh, that link uh, it includes, and I'm gonna. It, I think it's still unlisted, but actually, I will make it public right now. Public. Okay. Hopefully, it'll be public now, so anyone uh, should be able to find this playlist on the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel. Um, so that is available there. That includes 18 videos, the 15 that I made that are on the Dyer Supplier YouTube channel. And then there are three other videos that I did on my channel to complement the content that I had there. So I've got um, the Triangle Exercise, Dive Hunt Weekly 117, and then uh, Dive Hunt Weekly, uh, Dive Hunt Weekly 217. Uh, and then Dive Out Weekly 219, which are some semi-solid tips and tricks. And I hope to film, um, I don't know about a hand-painted one. Hey, honey, I'm still live. Um, but I also, I hope to film like an in-depth like speckles tips and tricks video um, soon. And, oh, hello, Indy. Hello. Uh, and then I also included, um, oh, the, uh, the video I made for the main knit crate on how to dye yarn with Kool-Aid. Uh, so that I included that in there as well, because there's a few Kool-Aid videos that I made for Dyer Supplier. Uh, and so, oh, and I might add, I did some companion Kool-Aid videos on my channel. I might add those in as well. Um, but yes, Indie Squishies. Poor Indie wasn't feeling well today but he got a clean bill of health from the vet, so he'll be just fine. Um, but are you tired? Yeah, you're like, mommy's live streaming. Um, you wanna come in my lap? You wanna come here? You look so sad. <laughs> come, oh, okay, you can come in my lap. Come here, you can, you can lay down. <laughs> you can be here. Okay. Um, <laughs> He's like, mommy, you're sitting on the floor. That must mean you want to pet me and love me. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, so there's all those videos. Um, and yeah, I think that, you know, the kit is $39.99 US dollars, but it includes free shipping. Um, it includes the cost of shipping within the US or internationally. It is a three month course. Um, and so if you sign up today, you will be charged for the first box, but then on September 1st, you will probably be charged for the second one. Um, but if you sign up on say September 2nd, you'd be charged for the second one on October 1st. So you can sign up at any time. Um, thank you. He is my floof and yeah. Uh, yeah, he, he's doing fine. Although you are exhausted right now and you okay? Yeah, you just wanted snuggles. <laughs> Oh, he's like falling asleep in my arms. Oh, I know he had a shot. So uh, he is sleepy. Um, but yeah, so let's dive into dying. 
Can they help you? Are you okay? You can go under the tripod. And he did not knock it over. No, no, but you can't step on the computer. Hi, go get daddy. Go see daddy. <laughs> I love that you can walk under the tripod and like stoop a little bit and not knock it over. That is amazing. Um, but, all right, but anyway. Um, I will probably head out. If you have questions, um, feel free to leave them down below on this video. Uh, but as I mentioned, I won't necessarily see questions on the Dyer Supplier YouTube channel because I don't get notifications for that. So if you've asked a question, uh, you know, feel free to like tag me on Instagram or something if it's something that in like if I didn't see or leave the comment on a video on my channel because then I'd be more likely to see it. Um, so there is that. But uh, thank you guys so much for all of your support and encouragement of my uh, creating content and uh, filming these videos. I am just really, really happy. I'm really, really happy. <laughs> all right, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Oh, subscribe. So I met all those videos on Diary Supplier, but subscribe to the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel because I publish two new yarn dyeing videos every week. I am always playing with different yarn bases and dye types and fiber contents and try to film things as I try it for the first time so that way we can all learn together. And that is my philosophy. <laughs> oh man. Uh, and just checking the, oh, I'm not seeing there may have been some comments I've missed. Not everything has shown up. So if I missed your questions, I apologize. Uh, yes, sweetie, mommy's coming. Um, and yeah, check out Dive Into Dying. Use the code Chemnitz20 for 20% off your first month. And most of all, have fun creating beautiful colors. Uh, and Ah, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> and have fun watching the videos. He stuck in there as I was uh, waving. Um, uh, in between calls. Well, the replay will be up and don't worry about it at all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, oh, I'm so glad you like the roving. Oh, awesome. Um, Oh, you guys are so sweet. I'm so glad you were all able to tune in. All right, I'm gonna go and see what this floofer uh, wants. Do you wanna say goodbye? No, you just want squishies? <laughs> all right, everyone. I will chat with you later. Um, and yay! <laughs> right, bye, everyone. And I can't reach. And Nate, can you move so I can reach the camera? Yeah, why don't you come over here so that way I can reach. Can you, any, go through? Go through. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, I'm too short. <laughs> All right, everyone. Bye.